Hello, my name is Maxine Swingler and together with Heather Cleland-Woods and Valentine Conlon, we're going to talk to you about staying connected, our toolkit for effective group work. So group work develops collaborative working, one of the top five sought skills sought by employers. And this is reflected in many degree programmes where group assessments are increasingly common. But we know from our students that group work can be one of the most challenging learning experiences and teachers face the challenge of supporting diverse groups and both assessing individual students' participation in group work. The transition to online teaching um, in the past year has underlined the importance of online collaboration. And we wanted to work with students to co-create a toolkit to support them in the practical aspects of group work and capture the process as well as the product of group work. So we started by collating existing resources and student feedback on group work at the University of Glasgow. We then ran focus groups with students from a range of disciplines, tackling the questions about what existing resources are working, what resources they would find helpful and what issues were important to them. We also reviewed current research and group work and consulted students on how to make the resources more engaging and user friendly. And from this research, three main themes directed the resource development. The first was organisation and tasks. So a need to recognise the group work process as well as a product. So having clear goals, co-creating a timeline with other group members, having ground rules and discussing expectations, and support in establishing a schedule and a pace. Second theme was participation and reflection. So there's often a fear of the unequal contributions in group work. So we wanted to try and support students on how best to address issues as they arise, scaffold regular reflection so that they can identify issues and come up with solutions, and also be able to assess that process of group work. And then finally, communication and collaboration. So working within diverse groups of students, how we can develop team building strategies, be able to reflect on different methods of working and communication and support for conflict resolution, along with practical advice on writing collaboratively. An important point here, though, is that we can develop resources, but how do we make sure that students find them appealing and engage in them? So we talked to the students um, throughout this process of development and flexibility was important to them where they could pick resources that suited them and their group. Um, and it addresses a specific issue in group work, like planning a timeline or allocating group roles. Signposting support from teachers was important, so students knew they could reach out if they need support or were feeling stressed about group work. And scaffolding the peer feedback and peer assessment process was really emphasised so that if students do have to rate each other or give feedback to each other, how they can feel confident in doing that. With so much content available online, we tried to avoid lots of text heavy content. So we used infographics, short videos, student testimonials um, that were all relatable to the student experience. Heather's going to take you on a quick tour of the resource and then Valentine will talk about the evaluation of the resource so far. And you can, of course, access the toolkit um, using the link on the abstract and on this slide. You simply register with Glasgow Online, get the link to your email address, and you should be able to access it. If you do have any issues in accessing it or any questions, then just get in touch with me by email. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Heather Cleland Woods, and I'm delighted to be joining you. So thank you so much for asking me to contribute to this Tile Network video. Thank you to Maxine. Um, I'm going to pick up here and give you a very short tour, a whistle stop tour of our resources, which we're sharing on Moodle. What you can see here is uh, the kind of front door, the main page, and you'll see that we've organised it into tiles. And hopefully that should help you break this down into um, bite sized chunks so you know what particular skills it's very clear what particular skills are relevant and, and the, the types of resources that you'll find there. I want you just, I want to just pick up on two or three for the time limit we have that I think are particularly important. The first one is about getting started. 
some of the students will ask us about how do we get started? What, how am I actually supposed to kick this, kick this off? So we have two key aspects covered here, highlighting the rationale behind group work and group work organisation and about roles within a team or within a group, about uh, leadership, about working together on different tasks, even down to hand, how, how to plan and structure a meeting. The next key skill is actually breaking it down into bite-sized chunks. And we have Microsoft Planner here where we've actually got an example here of the, the tasks for the literature review and for a presentation. Some of the, the tasks being um, broken down for a, for a group essay and what these each of these tasks are. And people can actually start putting their names against those tasks as well. So, so there's some useful information there about uh, getting started, getting to know your team work, teammates, and that might be through previous group work experiences. But we also have a, a, an engaging, as, as Maxine said, we want these to be as engaging as possible, an infographic that will take you through some of the keys getting started steps. Communication collaboration is really one of the key skills that we, you will get out of group work, your students will get out of group work, we all get out of working with other people. So we have the key aspects covered here are personal skills and the group skill, what I as an individual are getting out of it, but also what the group is getting out of it. And that's really important for the students to get a handle on. This is not just about, not just about your role within a group, but it's also about the group as a cohesive whole. So things about giving constructive peer feedback um, or about inclusivity and ensuring everybody's voice around the table, table is heard. So, so we have some kind of top tips and some challenges that, that might hinder effective communication, but also the evidence about, about effective communication strategies and skills they can use. Now, these are skills that they're going to be using within this particular say, assessment or group work activity within their course, but they're going to hopefully, so the students will take these uh, skills um, beyond wherever their destination is uh, post-graduation. Um, post the most also important things like cross-cultural communications, um, the world is open up to us even, even during these times in different ways. So it's about different attitudes and different cultural um, aspects of communication, different approaches to group work and actually um, taking students beyond that my way is the right way and actively listening to everybody and being able to adopt and be flexible in their approaches. Reflection is a key skill in our students, the ability to take a step back and think about what worked really well, what tools worked really well, I find working this way really helps me achieve this and sharing that and but also being able to hear um, other people's experiences and take them on board as well. So this could be about online tools, but making people aware of the different tools that are out there that they might find helpful. Finally, we have some testimonials, advice and more. These are This is the whole Motley crew that we had working on this, this uh, project and I was absolutely delighted to work with them. But we have these little videos that we recorded, for example, um, in the, on the right hand side of the screen there, it's uh, Noor and myself, we recorded uh, a little video, short video about group work, giving a staff perspective and, and my perspective as a, a programme lead where we have a lot of group work um, and the absolute benefits and the joy that comes out of it, as well as you know, encouraging students to come and speak to us if they're, they're unsure or uncertain about something. So hopefully you find these, um, these resources helpful. Thank you again for your attention. I'm now going to pass over to Valentine. Hi, I'm Valentine and I'm going to be discussing the evaluation and feedback that we got for these resources. We gave students and staff the opportunity to use and evaluate the resources. Um, they gave us both qualitative and quantitative evaluation feedback. Um, first off, we gave students a 20 question Likert scale type questionnaire um, where they evaluate their confidence after using the resources in several different areas. As we can see, um, everything kind of goes to the higher numbers, which is really positive, uh, particularly in reflection and organisation, meaning students were more confident in these things following um, using the resources. Um, they were also asked what resources they enjoyed, which ones they used within their groups, and what they would improve for the overall Moodle page. A lot of them said that they enjoyed the depth um, of their resources, but said that it might be good if we had a like tick box so people who wanted to like fast track the course could do that uh, which we thought was really useful um, students also really enjoyed the more visually appealing resources and stuff like the videos as well um, which really helped them with their group work um, they also focused on um, accessibility um, and 
they wanted better signposting from their lecturers about the course so they wouldn't um, forget about it during the modules that they were doing. Uh, we also asked the staff for their feedback um, and they said that they were really um, positive about the course, um, but it would be better to incorporate the resources into courses and modules that were taught. Um, some staff also recommended adding a link to a discussion forum at the end of each section so students could discuss uh, what they'd learned from the resources. So from this, um, we're going to work with staff to integrate resources into their teaching. Uh, we're also going to work with students in signposting the resource and making it quicker and more accessible for them. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope this resource is useful to you.